Hello everybody, um, thank you for joining um, today's session. Um, today's going to be a webinar talking about planning the workforce of the future with talent acquisition tools. Uh, hopefully you can all see the screen. Um, if you can't, uh, you'll see a button on your panel on the right hand side where you can raise your hand if there's any issues with seeing it or you can you can send us a question via the question tab. Um, depending on whether you're using a, a PC or a tablet, you'll find the menu bar at the top on a tablet typically on the right hand side on a computer screen. So by way of introduction, uh, joining me today is Shuba from our Talent Cloud Management team. Um, Shuba, do you want to just do a quick hello and the introduction? Hi, yes, Shuba. hi, thank you, Phil. My name is Shuba Shinoy, and um, I lead the Talent Acquisition Cloud um, team. Essentially, that's the Taleo products, um, which you can manage your recruiting, onboarding, and social sourcing modules. My quick background, I have um, utilized the product for about 15 years. I used Oracle products. I worked as an HR um, analyst and then moved into recruitment. Um, and now I'm on the implementation side where I, on a day-to-day -day basis, work with clients to help um, move them from either an on-premises system or, um, you know, from spreadsheets to now into um, the cloud. Thank you, Phil. Great. Thanks, Shuba. Uh, um, just to add to that, my name is Phil Wilson. Uh, I'm an SVP at InnoApps. I've um, been with the company for more than 10 years and been in the market implementing ERP and HCM solutions for 25 years. So uh, as background, we, we, we run a number of webinars. Um, the majority of them focus around ERP, HCM, change, uh, and also um, areas around integration and extension within the application. Um, they're designed to be informative, so obviously we'll, we do record them. Uh, we will be sharing the link after the presentation has ended so that if there's stuff there you wanted to revisit you'll be able to and and also um, if uh, you've got some colleagues that uh, uh, you feel will be uh, beneficial for them to see these then then please feel free to share the share the link with them um, as always if you want to connect to us ask any questions please use our social media channels um, LinkedIn um, Twitter, etc. Um, and yeah, uh, any feedback at the end in terms of uh, the session, the content value, you know, most gratefully received. Uh, we're always looking to how we can improve these sessions. So in terms of today's agenda, um, obviously we've done a quick introduction, then we'll hand over then to uh, Shuba to talk about leveraging and encouraging uh, talent internally, um, use of social media, and some of the tools in that arena to find more and uh, good candidates. Uh, quick discussion on job boards, uh, and then we'll talk about creating and managing a candidate pool of qualified applicants. Um, we'll go into, if we have enough time, a, a quick light touch demo, and then we'll we'll finish off with Q and A. So um, quite quite a heavy agenda. Um, like uh, like all these, we should try and get through them within 30 minutes. Um, please do feel free to ask any questions, as I mentioned. So if you're using a tablet, you'll probably see a bar similar to the ones shown on this slide at the top. If you're on a PC, you should have a, a tab on the right-hand side where you've got a section which is called questions. And uh, all questions come through to all the panelists, um, and we try and answer them during the session. If we don't get a chance, we'll send through a list of all the questions and, and the respective uh, responses uh, as part of the follow-up pack. So uh, in terms of a, a quick hour overview, so InnoApps, for those that don't know us, we are an Oracle partner, have been implementing solutions like this um, for over 11 years, um, multi-pillar solutions, fully integrated, um, 300 plus staff globally. Uh, three main regions, um, UK and EMEA. Uh, we've got a delivery center out in uh, Asia-Pac. 
in Kuala Lumpur and also um, we've got quite a, a growing and large practice out in the US of A um, where Shuba is based so um, you know you know a pure Oracle partner um, ability to deliver globally uh, and probably more importantly also currently Oracle's SaaS transformation partner of the year globally in terms of our credentials in cloud obviously we've been working in cloud for many years now probably six or seven um, we came from a a background of delivering on-premise solutions based around things like PeopleSoft and eBusiness Suite. Um, more laterally, obviously, most of our projects are now cloud, and uh, projects where we've deployed cloud or components of cloud or, or payroll are, are people like you know, PSC in the US, uh, Call Credit in the UK, Perform in the UK, GBC in the UK. So multiple project experience uh, around the HCM product portfolio. Um, and again, if you're interested in hearing more about those, and please feel free to contact us at any point, and we'll we'll do what we can to um, cover those off. Um, so that was really a quick introduction. Uh, I don't want to focus on it and talk about it too long. Um, what I'd like to do now is hand over to Shuba, who'll take you through the main part of the agenda, uh, and then I'll come back at the end and do a quick wrap up. So uh, Shuba, hopefully you can hear me, and over to you. Yes, thank you, Phil. Okay, great. So, what, um, as Phil mentioned, you know, we're we're the the premises of this, of course, is to talk about the talent acquisition side and how to use the various tools to really look for that perfect um, uh, applicant pool, which will then um, help you narrow your um, your your new hire um, candidate pool. And then, of course, you know, extend a offer, a contract, and then bring them on board. But prior to doing that, you know, what are the things that you should be as a as a HR personnel, as a um, as a um, recruiting team, be doing to ensure that you're uh, receiving all the um, and utilizing the right tools. So one of the things, of course, is globalization. Um, as Phil mentioned, um, InnoApps itself, we're a global organization, and we look at how do we hire in the U.S., how do we hire in the U.K., how do we hire in Kuala Lumpur, and how do we ensure that you, you're adapting and looking at all the employees and their candidate behavior um, as well. Um, the second piece is automation. Um, how do we help employees um, fill jobs efficiently, uh, again, with qualified hires. It's all about finding that really great uh, candidate who will come on board and really help um, the team and enhance a team, be it um, in IT or HR or accounting. Um, and then finally, talk about globalization. You know, there's some really great stats out there um, about how everyone uses um, a personal handheld device but um, also, how do we take from personal handle device to now social media, you know, be it Facebook, LinkedIn, um, or any of the international um, apps that are out there to help um, professionals um, share jobs, um, help your employee pool share jobs. So as I go through the slides, I'll, I'll touch a little bit more on the details of that. So how do you leverage and encourage internal employees to apply for open roles? Um, as I mentioned, my background is in recruitment itself. I worked as a recruiter for 15 years. Um, anytime a line manager came to me and said, you know, Shuba, I have a job opening, um, I always say, is there anyone internally that we can leverage um, for the role? Is there someone um, we can can look at and say, you know, we have a job opening, how do we encourage our employees? Because really, if you think about it, if you hire somebody internally that helps with retention, it helps with their career growth, growth itself. So one of the great things about the Oracle Toolit is you, you'll have separate career sections for internal advertisements. So if you want to add a, the job description to be a little bit different than your external, you have the ability to do that. So you can advertise the roles internally, um, and of course, everyone has um, in their internal network, maybe it's SharePoint, maybe it's newsletters, um, an intranet to really say, here's our um, top 10 job openings to really help um, get your internal employees' um, interest. Second, as I mentioned, is tailor a career section. Um, you can add a different skin. You can add a different um, branding file if, if I um, 
and, and how do we, make, of course, make it mobile friendly? How do we ensure that, again, people are able to access these jobs um, as well? So you can leverage your IT department, your marketing department to do that. Next would be streamline the application process. Um, there's some really great stats out there about how people um, drop off halfway through an application process because either it's too lengthy, it's not mobile friendly. So it's really streamline the application process um, to ensure you're asking the basic information to make a um, conscious and knowledgeable um, decision on that application, um, but also make it easy for your applicants as well, be it internal or external. And the next one is very important, which is providing feedback to your applicants. Um, giving that, you know, friendly, thank you so much for applying for a job really does go a long way. You know, if I was, if I was applying for a job, I would like to see that immediate, um, A, to make sure that my application was received, and B, to say, okay, someone is looking at it, I'm being considered. And um, the Oracle um, product you can easily automate these messages. It's not really up to your recruiter to kind of sit there and send individual messages. You can set it up that once someone applies, you're able to send them that message. And next would be, um, again, make it easier for recruiters to give priority to internal applicants. Um, again, from, from, from being that recruiter, um, I wanted a quick way to flag someone that's an internal. I give that person priority um, just because you know, they're already, they're already an NOAPS employee, they, they're interested in moving up, um, and then there's some, there, there's some neat tools in the system that will help your recruiter quickly identify who that internal employee, um, candidate is, rather. Here I wanted to talk about um, social media and employee referral tools. Um, as I mentioned initially, there's, social media is the way to go, you know, be it um, uh, LinkedIn, of course, is very popular. Um, Facebook is becoming more and more popular. Twitter is. Um, so ensure they're utilizing all the social sourcing tool to send out um, emails. Um, you can broadcast messages. You can reach out to maybe alum. You can, you can really target um, target your audience and send out those emails and everything is automated, everything's in a library, you can, your recruiter can quickly bring up the message and hit send. Um, and the second piece is give your, your employees the ability to share jobs with their network and there's a couple of really great ways to do that which is again uh, mobile friendly. Um, the next, the third point here talks about employee referral program or a scheme. Um, maybe you want to have a, a monthly raffle um, to, to say, you know, anyone that refers will put your name in a hat and we'll pull that out. Um, or say, you know, it's, it's 200 pounds if you refer someone from a entry level um, to a mid and then from mid level to manager, maybe it's, you know, 500 pounds. But really, um, I always encourage the leadership in HR to look at um, a scheme because it really does help um, help your your um, employees say hey you know there's there's a monetary reward attached let me reach out to my network and see who could be qualified and um, you know statistics st st excuse me statistics show that um, and you're if, if I'm referring someone I would make sure I'm referring the best person so if you're referring someone to your to your current employer they're already you know kind of, they're already acting as a recruiter for you and then hand that resume off to the recruiter and the recruiter can take it from there. Um, the next piece is to leverage your um, HRBCs, which is your HR business consultants, um, HR um, business analysts, reach out to them, leaders, and say, do we have an internal list that you can um, utilize a reporting tool and say, I'm looking for someone with this in this role, can you please provide me a list so I can reach out to them and ask them about, you know, um, if they have anyone we can reach out to um, because again there's there's roles that you might receive a, several applications for and then there's roles that are harder to fill and you as an organization know the difference between between the two and um, and so this is a great way to reach out to your internal employees um, to do that and then again the, the final one talks about the automated messaging I can't emphasize enough how important it is to to let folks know that you know thank you for applying thank you for referring um, these are all just soft, um, you know, courteous way to, to make sure that, um, that th it's, it's acknowledged and uh, keep it generic enough that you're not, um, you're not getting too detailed in your message, but just keep it generic enough. Maybe add a contact information in there if you choose to. That's up to your recruiters to do that. 
So we've talked about, you know, kind of using social media. We've talked about how to get your internal, um, your internal employees to apply for jobs. Uh, you, you've kind of go, gone through all those avenues. The next, um, the next advice would be to how do you maximize the potential of job boards and advertisements? You know, these are, you of course post your job on your uh, career section, be it um, internal, external. You might even send it out to agency recruiters to say, you know, please help us. Um, you know, here are jobs. We're giving it to you to help and um, reach out to agencies, give them a list of uh, jobs as well. But this is how do we make sure that once it's on the World Wide Web and once it's on your external facing career section, how do you ensure that the right um, folks are, job boards are aggregating? How do you distribute that widely? There's some really great vendors and great tools you can utilize in the Oracle system to ensure that you're getting the maximum visibility for your jobs. Uh, next would be to um, ask for referrals internally on specified professional associations. Again, I'm talking about these sort of hard to fill roles um, where you're um, looking, where you're, you're, you've, you've kind of tried the other two and it's not really working out, but now you need to go into professional associations. Maybe you'll get the budget and the uh, write off from your hiring managers and they'll say, sure, you know, advertise something for 90 days, six months, whatever that might be. Um, and again, there's this sort of untapped internal um, talent that um, your recruiters can utilize and say, you know, maybe there's some professional associations. Of course, Google searches can be done, but maybe the, the line manager themselves belong to an association and you can ask them, you know, who do you belong to if you're hiring for a scientist or a specified engineer, um, you have the ability to do that and um, easily post to those using a centralized applicant tracking system. The next would be creating career specific pages. What I mean by that is if you're, um, I have a particular client that, particular client rather, that hires drivers quite a bit. Um, so they're looking for a specific certified driver who can drive, you know, these big, huge, um, you know, HVAC trucks. So what they did was because they're hiring constantly for that role, they created a, a um, they branded and they added a skin on the web page to attract that. They made the application process very simple. Um, they found out that these drivers that are on the go, it, you know, they don't want to spend a lot of time. They don't even have resumes. They don't have time uploading resumes. So you ask for first name, last name, a phone number for the recruiter to contact them, an email where you can send that automated message to, and um, maybe give them an ability to upload um, their certificate to, to do that, but not make it mandatory. Because again, we want to make sure it's, it's a streamlined process and still give the recruiters enough information to um, make, a, make a sound decision about that applicant. Um, so creating a career specific web page is a great way to utilize that. The next piece um, is to encourage recruiters to um, create their own professional Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn. Um, as I mentioned, there's some great tools in Oracle where you can just with, the, with one link, uh, with one click rather, um, share that link um, onto these professional um, websites. But I, a lot of times I'll find somebody say, well, I have a LinkedIn account, but I don't have Twitter and Facebook. You know, it's, again, an internal decision for an organization, but why not utilize these great, great professional, um, you know, great networking um, to do that. So if they have their own, it's a great way to um, share um, as well, instead of having maybe one just for your company um, that gets a bit, bit tricky, can be done, but I always say encourage your recruiters to do that, have some guidelines around how they can use that, what kind of content, get your marketing and legal team engaged to ensure that it's, you know, they're kind of using the same verbiage um, on all the pages, but uh, really help them, you can really help guide them through that. And then of course, finally, automate job distribution. And what I mean by that is I find a lot of people will take, you know, a specific career page URL link and then paste it. And sometimes that link breaks and now it becomes a bad experience for applicants who would like to apply. So there's, a really, um, so there's some really easy user-friendly ways for your recruitment HR team to automate the job distribution and even set it at um, you know, a time to say, I want to post it on a Tuesday because I found research that people seem to want to apply for jobs on Tuesday. That seems to kind of midweek, kind of seems to be a, a high traffic um, where people are searching for jobs. Um, so if you, want to, if you want to make sure your job shows up at the top of the job board, um, you can delay posting it. 
Um, so there's some there's some great great tricks out there. So um, just to wrap up the slide, you know, create the jobs in the Oracle Teleo system, post the jobs on the company career site, and then um, ha give your give your referrals, give your recruiters, everyone um, a great way to to share the jobs um, automatically. Um, this slide here talks about um, creating and managing the candidate pool. So now you've you've distributed all your jobs, you've um, you know reached out to your internal team, you reached out to your HR manager to say you know give me a list of these these types of folks are, that are already in our organization. Maybe you reached out to some um, specific associations to to garner some more traffic to your career site um, and visibility. Um, there are some additional uh, tools you can utilize and they're called pipeline requisition and what I mean by that is the word evergreen seems to seems to be um, maybe another word I could use here and what that essentially means is um, you ensure that you post a job on your website it doesn't affect reporting or time to fill because that's very important to recruiters you want to ensure from the time you posted the job you know recruiters are being graded to say okay when you posted when you filled what what is the time and the great thing about these pipeline or evergreen requisitions is you can post it. You know, maybe it's a university hire. You're looking to hire five computer science degree, but you want to keep it posted year-round and, and have that visibility out there. You can utilize that. Um, next, thing, next thing would be to pre-screen um, questions and relevant job descriptions. And what I mean by that is um, Everyone is able to click on the job and they they read through. And sometimes it might be lengthy, and sometimes people will read it. But really, um, you know, there's some stats out there that say that people spend 15 seconds reading a job description. So you want to make sure you kind of highlight everything you need. But the pre-screening questions is a great way to give your recruiters an opportunity to maybe without picking up the phone, um, they can your your applicants can answer some questions. You know, are you eligible to work in the UK? Um, are you, or are you eligible to work in the country where you're applying for the job? Um, are you at least 18 years of age, if that's relevant to the to the job? Um, you know, can you? Uh, what when are you graduating? Again, for, uh, using my example as a university hire, uh, please provide your graduation date. Um, please provide maybe your grades or your uh, or GPA, as it's called in the United States, and really give them kind of quick ways to answer these um, questions, and that'll help. Um, your your recruiters make the right decision when they're reviewing these applicants. And of course, the, the third point is recruiters should review, right? You get the recruiters in the habit of log into your applicant tracking system daily, update these applications as you go through them, update them, review them, because at times applicants might apply for several jobs. And um, as you're updating each job, the, the, the Oracle system will give you the ability to um, disposition an applicant um, based on that particular job. So if they've applied for 10, you can recruiter can quickly go through and say, I spoke to them, they're not interested in re relocating to London, um, and kind of leave it at that. And that helps your, uh, if you share that applicant tracking system with other recruiters um, in, within your organization, they can review your notes as well. Um, and then the last piece, of course, is uh, to share resumes. Um, as a recruiter, you've gone through kind of all these ways to to garner um, great interest on the in the roles um, you've you've brought the best of the best and uh, you now you've pre-screened them you want to give uh, share that now with the line managers and other colleagues there's some very easy quick click um, ways to share that information everything is tracked um, in a his, in history it's, you're compliant you're able to uh, ensure that everyone goes through the same application process as they're answering the right questions and now you're, you're sharing and then giving the line manager the ability to make the right decision. Um, so those are, those are sort of the, you know, how to, how to best use the applicant tracking system um, for, for recruitment. So I have a couple of minutes and I did have a demo planned, but I, but I see that I do have two minutes and I'll just quickly make sure if um, anyone did have any questions, I can um, go through that. But... Um, I'm just going to pause sharing, so please bear with me here as I bring up the Oracle system here. Okay, 
great. So what you should see here in front of you um, is just a quick login page. Um, I'm utilizing our inst internal you know, app stage instance. So just to let you know kind of sort of the quick, easy ways, everything is centralized. You know, the, the ATS, the um, applicant tracking system, um, it's really important that it be sort of a centralized way to where you can share. So if you look on the left-hand side here where my mouse is moving, you can see there's some quick ways to recruit. Um, there's OBI, which is just a really fancy word, or Oracle Business Intelligence. It's a fancy word of saying reporting. Um, and then you'll see there's requisitions and candidates. And that, that's really just a great way to, how do I post a job? How do I get those applicants into the, into the system? And how do I share? So just wanted to um, um, give a quick brief introduction through that. As Phil mentioned, we do, um, we will be reaching out to you and um, asking if you have any questions and I'm, I'm happy to um, send out some questions and some best practices as well. Um, Phil, I'm looking at the clock and it looks like we're at, we're at 30 minutes, so I'll go ahead and hand that back over to you. Oh, that's great, Schubert. And, uh... Many, many thanks for, for that very useful and uh, informative uh, um, few, few uh, minutes there. Um, so uh, obviously we've touched on quite a lot today. Um, uh, we've talked about attracting and retaining staff with uh, Workforce Rewards Cloud. We've talked about managing HR challenges with, oh no, the, 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 these are webinars that we've got coming up next, apologies. So we're going to talk about attracting and retaining staff with Workforce Rewards Cloud. Uh, we're also then going to focus on managing your HR challenges with reporting dashboards and analytics, which is always a very popular topic, we find. Um, and then moving to Oracle Payroll Cloud in terms of you know, tips, tricks, guides, etc. Um, so as I said, uh, the whole idea of these webinars, and there's, there's ones that focus on pure ERP or pure HCM and there's ones that focus on pure Hyperion products. Um, also, we, we do a number that is cross-pillar. Uh, obviously, today's hopefully you found interesting. It's uh, driven by, um, obviously, people wanting to find out more information around the talent acquisition side of things, the recruitment side of things. Um, th there has been a couple of questions that uh, we'll come to and answer afterwards. Um, but also, you'll get a quick questionnaire. Uh, your feedback's always, always welcome because we're always looking at ways to try and tune these presentations to drive the best um, time and use of the time and make them as informative as possible. Um, uh, there will be a link shared with you all afterwards, so um, hopefully if you've missed anything or want to share it with a colleague, you'll get the opportunity as well. Uh, so for me, I would like to thank everybody for attending. Um, Shuba, many thanks to you again for uh, sharing your knowledge and, and, and also uh, doing the quick demonstration. Um, and we look forward to welcoming you all at the next uh, webinar in this series. Thanks very much. Cheers, then.